What is up guys, Andy Forrest Demon and today we're going to be talking all about how we're going to be approaching and training for the autumn winter 2019-2020. So welcome back to another video guys. I hope you're enjoying the scenery today. It is absolutely incredible. There is nowhere else in the world that I would rather be than out here on the trails. And today, as I said, we're gonna be discussing what the plans are for autumn, winter, 2019, 2020, how we're gonna be approaching it. For those of you that know and watch the announcement video, me and my family, we are due our third child in February, 2020, which kind of shifts the focus a little bit in terms of what the plan of attack is. I was potentially, thinking about running a spring marathon next year but there's absolutely no point if I have a baby due in February I ain't gonna be marathon training so I thought what better time to shift perspective shift focus and really immerse myself in a block of training than to do some shorter sharper stuff this is going to be a great chance for me to really spend some quality time focusing on the shorter sharper distances now for me i tend to do 12 16 week training blocks of training for a specific distance then i move on because i like to try and be a bit of a jack of all trades because i love all distances it's great fun but this is going to allow me the opportunity to have several months to work hard at chipping my times away at the 5k 10k and half marathon distances we'll probably think about a marathon next autumn Abingdon is high on the list it was such a great event I couldn't recommend it highly enough and I would be more than happy to go back there so for me that's probably going to be the one that I target in autumn next year but for now it's all going to be about the 10k's 5k's half marathons we want that sub 36 10k we've got the sub 17 5k but we now need the sub 20 half marathon. So that's kind of the perspective that I'm coming from, the angle that I'm shooting. And uh, let's go back to the office. We can talk a little bit more in detail about how we're gonna be approaching all this. dive into talking about the training side of things just a very quick plug for my business virtual running events for those of you who are new here I do indeed run a business called virtual running events if you've ever wondered what these medals are behind my head no they're not medals that I've gone and earned at races these are the medals that we produce for you guys to do monthly activities monthly challenges keep you motivated especially over the darker months so just a quick shout out to our October November and December events we've got some great events on at the moment some fantastic challenges we have of course PBGB's Running through October, we have only one of our two November challenges left because the other one has sold out already. And we have a couple of awesome Christmas challenges coming up in December. So if you guys want to get involved, link will be in the description below. Make sure you go and check out the website, get involved in the challenges and let me know in the comments below if you are joining us for any of those challenges. And without that out of the way, let's dive in to talking about training. So I'm really, really excited approaching this block of training and I cannot wait to take you guys along with me on the journey. There's a few bits and pieces 
that I want to cover today, in particular with training plans, in particular with structure, how we're going to be structuring the training, and race focus. What is all of this going to entail? So for me at the moment, I'm just coming off the back of a week off after the Abingdon Marathon. It was absolutely epic, but I really, really did need a break. I literally did two weeks specific marathon training, um, and someone, uh, Colin, made a great point in the comments uh, in my previous video. He said, look, I'm really glad that you just clarified something there for the viewers, because I've stated quite a lot that I've only done two weeks specific marathon training, but in the lead up to that, I had done quite a bit of training beforehand. I'd done nine weeks of 10K training, six weeks then of half marathon training, and then the two weeks. So I'd had quite a big block together. And ultimately, although we weren't doing anything marathon, uh, marathon specific, it all helps, it all adds up. And my body was relatively tired. It, I could feel it needed a rest. I was glad that I got Abingdon done. And in the manner of getting the sub three hour uh, marathon, it allowed me to completely check out. I kind of felt like I had ticked a massive box, got a monkey off my back and was able to just take a chill pill, come back this week feeling stronger, fitter, faster, and ready to annihilate anything that is in my path. So for me now, as I said in the intro, the focus is certainly gonna to shift towards the shorter distance stuff, and we'll tackle the topic of training plans first. Am I gonna be jumping onto a training plan? Well, I do intend, at some point to put myself a training plan together, as I did for the mini autumn half marathon block, and that ended up doing really well. I managed to tune up for those races really, really nicely. Really happy with how that went, and I intend to do the same again. However, for the next two or three weeks, I'm not gonna be on any plan. I'm not gonna be doing anything specific. I'm just gonna go out there and enjoy myself and do what I want to do. I do have a race next Wednesday evening, which is exciting, the Seven Bridge Night Race. Uh, and then I think it is on the 17th or 19th of November. I can't remember, whichever is the Sunday. I have the new at nine. I probably will have started like week one or week two of some kind of training plan by then. But for the short term, for the moment, I'm just gonna go out there, do what I want. Enjoy the GoPro Hero 8, get some awesome footage, do some workouts that I fancy doing, and just completely chill out. Get the mind ready. I'm ready now, I'm refocused, but I wanna get that hunger, that desire, that passion building. Ultimately, that's what fuels me, that's what drives me forward and wants me, or gets me to continue wanting to strive for better results, uh, results each and every time. So for me, yes, I'll be jumping on a plan, but it won't be quite yet. And the way I'm gonna structure that over the next few months is leading up to uh, the baby in February, and then of course, after the baby, I'm still only gonna be focusing ideally on the half marathon uh, tops for distance. Uh, I might, as I said, uh, do the Gloucester Marathon in January. If I do, I'll just do another couple of weeks. Uh, big, uh, but other than that, I'm not gonna do anything specific for the marathon. I don't want to do anything specific for the marathon. I just want to go there and do exactly what I did with Abingdon again, but hopefully sort this gut issue out and work out a better fueling strategy. And if I can, who knows what can happen. But other than that, it is purely gonna be 5K, 10K and half marathon focus. And I'm looking forward to just literally picking and choosing races and going and racing them without stressing, without doing a massive build up, without doing a massive block. The goal is simply gonna be that in maybe five or six weeks time to be relatively race ready so that a race comes up that I want to do, I can just drop straight into it and go and do it and do my best. That's what I would like to be able to do. So in terms of structure, we move on to structure now. Um, as I said, the structure for the next two or three weeks is gonna be null and void. I'm just gonna do what I want to do, aiming for around 35 to 45, maybe 50 miles. Um, over the next two or three weeks. And then after that, the structure is gonna be hopefully a 50 mile minimum week creeping towards the 60s. That is where I want to be hanging now. I've done the 40s, I've done the 45s, the 50 mile weeks is now where I'm progressing to. That's where I want to hang around at. And then hopefully in the future, I'll be able to take that further from there. And the structure will come back in, as I said, in two or three weeks time. Hopefully we'll have the Tuesday and the Thursday workouts back along with the long run workouts, the best run of the week, of course. And so that leads me on to the final one, race focus. How are we gonna be focusing for races, or how I should say, which races are we gonna be focusing at? Well, as I just alluded to, I want to be in a position where in five or six weeks time, I've got myself in a position where I'm relatively fit again, and I can just literally drop into races. I am gonna put some kind of focus on the January race, whether it's the Gloucester half or the Gloucester full, that will be a relatively big focus. But other than that, I don't have anything else that I want to focus on. I just want to go, I wanna do that race, I wanna do that race, I wanna do that race maybe a week or two in advance, and then know that in that week leading up to it, I can just drop the mileage back, taper a little bit, and go and do it. That's, that is what I would like to do. And that's gonna be a real 
free feeling, you know, not being tied into any kind of training plan. It's going to feel absolutely great and I cannot wait to get started. So that's it for today, guys. Hopefully that gives you kind of some kind of outline as to the direction we're going to be heading in over the next few months. I can't wait to take you on the journey. Hopefully, fingers crossed, either this week or next week, we'll be starting the new training series and I'll be, of course, taking you along for the ride in every single journey. So if you enjoyed this video today, guys, please make sure you give it a like, share it with your friends and, of course, do consider subscribing to the channel for weekly running content and of course I will see you on the next one. Until then.